Hi everybody, it's Holly from Visit Brainerd and guess what? Today we are going on an adventure. I am here at Brainerd Zipline Tours. Um, I'm here with General Manager Stephanie Bowen yes, and my friend Derek Owen. And the reason Derek is here is because Derek is a never zipped before kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be super cool to bring him into this video series um, as a rookie zipper. I have done the zip line, I don't even know. A handful of times. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah. So to me, I kind of know what to expect, um, but I really wanted to get Derek's perspective on what this is going to be like. So I'm super excited to have him here today. Um, Derek's Screaming excited therapy. too. Yeah, yeah, I just want to hear how high I can scream. Right? <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a great part of the video, I love it. So before we get out onto the zipline tour, uh, we're going to talk with Stephanie just about some of the logistics and some of the basic questions that you guys get um, from people who have probably have never zipped before. We also want to give Derek a chance to ask some questions, but yeah, sure. let's talk about like what should people expect when they get here? How does it go? Okay, so how it goes is, um, so uh, Brainerd zipline tour, we are about a two and a half hour experience. That's what we advertise. We, we take up tours mainly every hour on the hour starting around 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning um, throughout the afternoon every day um, of the week every day of the week for our busy for our busy month so June July and August seven yep. days a week um, but May September and October we do drop down to five days a week um, so yeah there's that and then um, with a full group so we take up about 10 people max at a time um, so with the full group again it does take about two and a half hours um, so how it works is we start on the ground, you basically get checked in, sign your waivers, and then... Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Then, um, <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Throughout nature it happens. Okay. Um, anyway, you get checked in, we get your waiver signed, and then um, we get, basically get you geared up, and then you get uh, a ride um, in one of our white vans, right? Cool. And uh, we drop you off the top of the hill, where you guys will complete the very first line, which is called Ground School. Um, this is like yes, there's training. Is, yes. Oh, did you know that there's training? No, it's the beginner line. Okay, we were just going. Okay. No, right? A lot <laughs> yeah. of people ask that. Yeah. Um, our course is designed as an active braking course. So what that means is our course, um, you use your, your hands to slow yourselves down. So everybody wears uh, leather gloves and a brake pad on your dominant hand. And you basically apply pressure behind the trolley, which is what you zip on. And you wait for a signal from one of the guides. So you learn traffic signals, you learn um, how to brake and how to ride on the zip line at ground school, and then also what happens if you might come up short. Um, we, we do, you know, have to make sure you're able to pull yourselves in. That's so, right, you can get stranded out um, there. But <laughs> our guides are definitely trained to help you guys out if needed. It's so, it's like yes? people crisscrossing? No, <laughs> one at a time, uh, okay. tower to tower. Sure. Yeah, there you go. Um, but so yeah, it's basically six major zip lines after that. Um, we have a 65 foot suspension bridge somewhere in the middle. And then the very yeah, last- Yeah, did you know about that? No, what's that I, about? I perfectly- didn't tell me about it? Yeah, kind of. Okay. So there's a suspension bridge out there that is just that. It's a suspension bridge. It is. You have to cross over that to get from one platform to the other. And also, <laughs> once you start zipping, you're in it. You go platform to platform. Yep. There are no stairs down. I think people need to understand that as well. There's no safe word or anything? Well, Mistletoe? Or... <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of safe words <laughs> yeah, yeah, here at BZT. Yeah. <laughs> is that a just help? <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, every platform that we have, we do, um, they are equipped with what we call our rescue gear. So there is, you know, a rescue aid and some ropes and some prussics some, some gear that we definitely need to get you down on the ground, like as, as safe as possible. Um, those are for more emergency type situations, such as like right. lightning, weather, or if someone gets hurt or if they really just feel like it is not for them to continue or if it becomes an issue of safety. Has that ever happened? Has somebody, yes, ma'am. Somebody has gone up there, they've started and they just couldn't finish. Yep. It happens. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not, not too often. We don't necessarily yeah. um, urge people to get down on the ground per se. We want, we want to encourage them to finish the course. Um, but sometimes you know that, that um, growth zone turns into that panic zone real quick. Yeah. And sometimes we we can't de-escalate that and it's we can definitely so have an option. Can yeah. I just share a quick story? Yeah. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have zip line before. The first time I came out here to zip, I was one of those freaked out, panicked persons. Like I had no saliva in my mouth. Yeah. I was scared out of my mind. And I was with a group of people that I, I knew everybody. Um, and I will say this, that not only, there just becomes this, 
like feeling of support with who, whomever you're with. And I will say that the guides do such an amazing job of, I don't want to say talking you off the ledge, but, but we legit, are like, awesome <laughs> at talking people off ledges. Yeah. yeah I mean, sure. encouraging you to make that step for yourself really is, is and, kinda... and once you do it, you, you are so glad that you did it. And so I want people to understand that even though you might be scared and you, you are saying to yourself, there's never a chance I would ever do this. Stop saying that and try it because once you do it, it's amazing. So like I said, scared out of my mind, but I keep coming back. Right. And now I'm excited to bring Derek on board so he can join the <laughs> which, It's So Fun team. Which Holly <laughs> brings me to the last thing we got going on on our course. So Tower 6, the very last <laughs> option, is that 50 foot drop at the very end. So that's kind of our big exit out of the course. Yes. I mean, we do have stairs for you to utilize to take down. Um, however, Holly here, she's definitely coming to, you know, I'm going to talk her right oh, off that ledge no today, pressure. man. Yeah. So um, of all the times that I have been out here to zip, I have zipped my way through the day and everything has been dandy. However, I get to that last final jump and I can't do it. And here's why. Here's the difference. When you're zipping, you can, you're, so you're harnessed up and you, you, when you're on the platform to zip, you can just kind of squat down and lift your feet up and, yeah. and the gravity just takes you. When you're on that final optional platform, you have to actually physically walk off Take the ledge. Take a step <laughs> off. It's a big yes. difference. Yes. So today's the day I have mentally been preparing for today. And I'm, I'm hoping excited. that you guys can talk me off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, Holly. <laughs> so let's talk about like some of the requirements that are needed. Okay. What, are, what are some restrictions that we need to know about? Okay, so our requirements do, um, so everybody has to be the age of 10 and above. So we don't have an age limit, but they do need to at least be 10 years of age. And then we do have a weight limit of 70 to 250 pounds. Okay. Um, so there's that. Closed-toed shoes. I'm glad everybody's wearing yep. closed-toed shoes. Um, we don't want any sandals or Crocs. Crocs don't count. Um, and, you <laughs> know, know. Yeah, something that ties on your foot. Um, Weather-appropriate clothing. So it's been kind of hard to dress the past couple weeks. Sure. It's been you never know. down to 50s. <laughs> you never so, know. I mean, honestly, layer it up and you know you can always take off layer before you get going um, it's normally warmer on the ground than it is kind of up there sure. just because of the wind but um so there's that and then also empty so empty mouths empty pockets empty bladders <laughs> there's no potty breaks <laughs> up there so we don't need that on uh, the final drop <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that, and then um, also no no pregnant adventurers. We do want to, you know everybody to take care of their little ones. So okay, um, that's the, that's like mainly one of the only things that will bar you from a trip. Is, you know, and I know a little bit of a fun fact that you guys are able to help out physically disabled folks. Yes, um, we we definitely will try to accommodate yeah. those. I mean, you, um, you will do what you can. Right, for sure. As long as we kind of have more of a heads up, it's kind of hard for us to um, last minute kind of, because it is a group of 10 and those yep. those openings are available to the public. So you kind of never know who you're going to get paired up with. Um, but yeah, I have no, no problem trying to accommodate anybody who is interested in coming to do this. Um, so the thing with, with disabilities is you have to be able to pass ground school. Um, you have to be able to perform and, you know, be for, for the guide's safety, for their safety, for everybody's safety. We have to make sure that they are able to perform. And honestly, if they can, we have no problem taking them. We're going to go. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. For sure. Um, just a little touch on something that you had just talked about, too. You know, you don't really know necessarily who you're going to be paired up with. So yeah. if there's a group of three of you and you guys can accommodate up to 10, yep. you may or may not get paired up with other people that you don't know, which by the way, is also a really cool experience. It because is. you mm. guys, you don't know these people, you're probably never gonna see them again, but I'm telling you, when you are zipping with them, you become besties. Yes, you're And you are supportive. Yes. Yeah, and it's just a really sure. cool thing. So, um, anything else? Derek, you have any questions as a rookie? What if I don't stop? Ooh, <laughs> it's what What's at the end? Coming in hot. Coming yeah. in. Um, so down at ground school, we do go over our kind of our emergency brake system. It's not something we like <laughs> just, you know, to engage fine. or utilize, um, but you know, as long as you can pay attention and follow directions, you should be just yeah, fine. Okay, fine. Just pay um, attention, right? I mean, is it like a wall or? Is there it's like not a wall. We foam have padding. No <laughs> foam padding. No. So what we have is called um, an emergency brake. It's a it's a big prusik, so it's basically a knot that on the cable yeah, and to engage it we just kind of give it give it some, mm, some pressure and 
we uh, basically move out of your way and um, you know try to buffer your speed as you're coming into the tower yeah. and um, well, we, we look forward to. Hopefully, we don't. Yeah, we won't have to do that. I, I just, mean, I was just it'll curious. Be yeah. I mean, you can okay. come in hot. I'll let you come in. Hot. <laughs> just try it. We'll make we'll sure. Yeah, just try it. We can make sure the brake system's working properly. <laughs> just go. test it out for you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're we're gonna do this video in a couple of different series. So right now we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna get suited up and harnessed up. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get up to the ground school area and then we'll come back and talk some more about how that's gonna go. We'll see you guys soon. the stool if you'd like otherwise no, you can just kind of so this hand is here yep this hand is here well yes until you get that brake signal then you want to put it behind you enjoy the ride okay see you over there Hi. okay bye, bye. <laughs> You can just let your lanyards trail right behind you.
for real. I'm gonna. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. And then there's space, so much space between. Yeah, I trust about nothing that you're saying right now. Oh my god. Oh. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go wider, but I <laughs> scared too. Shut up. She should land like right over here. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> you did it! Yay! You did it! And you're alive! <laughs> yes! Woohoo! How was it? It was awesome! <laughs> Holy shit! Good job! I was so proud of you! That didn't take as long as I thought either. Okay. I thought half a day at least. No spit. <laughs> yes! All right, you can stand up, and I'm gonna unclip ya. Nice job. Amazing. Good work. Look at like. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that. that was awesome. Okay. Awesome. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Nice I job. I I might do it again at some point. Okay. Not today. Yeah. We're alive. You guys, so we just spent about two hours yeah. on seven zip lines. Now I had referred to this earlier as I was excited and I I was very much, very much excited. And I have done this before and I am shaken like a leaf. <laughs> and remember I said I was gonna bring Derek on here because he has never done this before. He's like a pro, <laughs> no big deal. So it kind of goes to show that yes, you can still have a slight I'm gonna call it slate. It's a legit fear of heights. <laughs> and we still yeah. did it. We still did it. So thank you so much to these guides. They yes. were phenomenal. Um, Derek, what was your experience like? Yeah, so I, about halfway through doing it, I thought to myself, this is way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. And I didn't mean to be disrespectful by saying that. I just said that, you know what, most people's experience with zip lines are an at home, you know, Backyard. This, yeah, like, <laughs> hey, I'm going to probably smash into the ground. But, you know, coming out here and experiencing the different ones that they had, it was it was a lot of fun. And I was kind of doing my own little research for my family to come out, which they definitely Ooh. will be now. So um, I think everybody, if you haven't done it, or even if you've moderately done some zip lines, so this is, this is pretty incredible. So it was awesome. Great experience. Um, again, I really can't say enough about the guides and how great they are in talking you off the ledge it is a legit thing these guys are like counselors yeah. we we're walking back here from the free fall and i just kind of said i am mentally in ex like exhausted, exhausted. these guys exhausting. have to do it with every single person that might have a slight fear so we have to give you guys major props for doing what you do well yeah thank you so much all i mean that is what and why we're here I this love is it. what gives me goosebumps about my job <laughs> is doing exactly what i did with you holly for for anybody and every, you know, everybody has an innate fear of heights. You know, that's something that, that we weren't born with wings. So it's very right. normal, very natural to be like, oh my God, what are you doing? But at the same time, like to know that you can do it, you can trust us, you can trust yeah. the gear, you can trust yourself. Yep. Um, and I think there's a lot of, a lot of growth, you know, facing those fears and being I actually, to... I feel like this sense of accomplishment all I did yes. was jump off a ledge but it doesn't <laughs> matter because I couldn't do it before and I finally got to do it so thank you so so yes, much yes you're welcome I'm so proud of you <laughs> yeah. so you guys here we are remember we are here, here to love Brainerd like a local and the Brainerd zipline tour is one more way to do that so we'll see you out here get online make those reservations and check in with Jada and Stephanie and all the other fabulous guys. yeah come hang awesome. out okay we'll see you guys thank soon you guys. <laughs>